Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God who loves us. A God who cares for us. But a God who is bigger than all things. The one true God of the world. And we praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from 1 Chronicles chapter 16, beginning at verse 25. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and joy in his dwelling place. You know, as I read those words, uh, we are reminded that, that there's lots of things out there vying for our attention, aren't there? There's lots of things out there who would uh, suggest to us they should be our God. In fact, as we see different things and the way people respond, and I know they don't always mean it. They are kind of like flippant when they say it, but uh, maybe uh, some of my fishing shows talk about the, the tuna gods or, 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 or the, the crabbing gods or whatever gods are out there. But in a sense, when we don't know that Jesus is Lord, and we don't know the Heavenly Father as the one true God, we are missing out, and we're serving something that, that doesn't exist. We believe there is one true God, the God who created all things, including us, the God who has purposed us, the God who uh, gives us life, the God who watches over us. And even though we may not understand his ways, uh, certainly there's times that we don't understand his ways, we trust that uh, he's in charge. Uh, if there are multiple gods, then the multiple gods would be fighting, and it's who's got the biggest god. Uh, but it's, we don't believe that. We believe in one true God, that all other gods that people pray to are simply idols. They're simply uh, things made of stone, wood, whatever that people bow down to. But they have no power. They have no life. They have no help. It's just a basic, uh, you know, a basic thing, a basic uh, thing sitting there. So as Christians, we believe that God is the God he says he is. And if we don't believe that, uh, then we're, we're going against the Bible. I mean, the Bible is pretty specific about being one true God. Now, I know there's other world religions out there. Some have been around a long time, but none have been around as long as, as ours. None have been around since the beginning because God is the one true God. God was the beginning. God is the beginning and the end. God is everything in between. It's all about God. Our lives are but a mist. Our lives are but a vapor. We're here for a short time. Uh, some of us a little longer than others. Uh, but we're all on the same train, as a friend of mine used to say. Some are just uh, in, in cars closer to the front, if you will, uh, or closer to the destination. But we all know in this life, uh, we have a certain time frame. Our time frame uh, goes probably anywhere today from uh, the early 1900s, and we may go as far as, as you know, 100 years in the next century for babies. Who knows? As long as the Lord doesn't come back in the meantime. Uh, but I say that to say that this is our time. This is your time. This is our time uh, to live out for the one true God and to give back to him for doing so much to us. And as part of that, we simply give him praise. So today, I hope that as you look around, as you see the mountains and the valleys, as you see whatever's before you, as you see people, um, all that we have, let's attribute that to the one who truly created us, and that is God. Everything we see comes from um what the hands of God have made through man. Now, I know there's some bad things out there. People have created some bad things, and that's part of free will. But all of the basics are good, and they all come from the Almighty God. And He's the one who gives us our power. He's the one who gives us our talents. He's the one who gives us strength. He's the one who helps us uh, do well in this world. So let's give Him all the praise. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for all that you do. We certainly give you all the praise because you are the one true God. We thank you, O oh God, that we can come to you, that we can pray to you, that we can seek you, that we can be in a relationship with you on a daily basis, on really a minute-by-minute -minute basis. Father, we want to be immersed in your love, immersed in your grace, immersed by your spirit so we might carry that out. And may that you do that today in our lives, and may you use our lives to be a blessing to others. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do as we give you praise today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. Uh, God has plans for you today. God wants to use you. Will you be open to God and will you give him all the praise? That's the question before us today. Have a great day. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.